Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presentation. The topic is cabinet building in times of energy transition, mobility revolution and digitalization. My name is Dirk Pieler. I'm responsible for the business unit industry and the business unit energy and power solutions at Rital. You might or might not know Rital, but maybe you are already our customer. Um, this is what we do. First of all, software, and when I say we do that, it's actually our sister company, Eplan, doing it. Software for uh, the engineering of electrical systems. You might know uh, Eplan Electronic P8 or ProPanel. You might know the data portal with approximately a million entries of, of products available there. Then, of course, uh, part of our core business, certainly, or the core in the core, is our enclosures. So you get all kinds of steel, stainless steel, aluminum, plastics enclosures for all kinds of purposes. Very flexible from an interior point of view. We offer climatization, all kinds of cooling systems, air-based, water-based, etc. Also software to calculate the necessary cooling for your systems. A remote monitoring devices, IoT interface. Um, we do provide power distribution components, bus bar systems, bus bar holders, um, adapters for contactors, circuit breakers, also software for the engineering of um, a bus bar system. And we provide uh, solutions for the IT sector, um, rack solutions, enclosures, climatization, power distribution unit, etc. To uh, support our customers in the best possible way, we created a large uh, infrastructure of uh, production plants and uh, global distribution centers um, because our ambition is to provide the customers um, in a convenient and fast way with what is needed in a project. Um, actually, Rital started this in the year 1961 by providing the first standard enclosure for um, panel builders. And by doing so, Rital started to create this market of, of panel building. Um, and this is still what we do. Today, we're producing 15,000 enclosures per day. And those 15,000 enclosures, obviously, uh, all need to be distributed to the end customer. The next topic I briefly want to talk about is the value chain. Um, today, we are at a point where the panel business is being industrialized, also the panel builders um, and control panel builders, uh, our customers, they have to industrialize their processes to bring the cost down and to make the panel building process more efficient. And we are supporting this uh, coming from the software, the engineering software, and to create a digital twin um, to the mechanical treatment of the enclosure to um, the preparation of the wires, uh, printing of the wires, cutting, crimping uh, in an automized fashion, and also the, the smart wiring tool to support the wiring process. So by doing so, you can bring down the time from, in that particular example here, um, this is the, the enclosure on the bottom right-hand side, um, a study from the University of Stuttgart, um, on a traditional way, you need uh, 58 hours to build that panel. Applying the tools just outlined, you can bring down the time to 24 hours. And this is only for one panel. If you do like 5 or 10 or 20 panels, um, obviously you have the creation of the digital twin only once, so the benefit is even higher. So if you're interested in, in learning more about this uh, value chain, and value chain support, don't hesitate to contact me. You will see my contact address at the end of my presentation. So now, business unit energy and power solutions. Yeah, and this is really why we actually created this new business unit. We see ourselves a little bit at a similar point, like uh, at the time when the world became more IT, and there was a big need for, for data centers and data center-based solutions, um, IT racks, cooling, uh, power distribution units for the IT sector. And now we're at the point where the energy sector is uh, growing so fast and having so many demands that we responded to that demand. 
we do have already a lot of solutions for the energy sector. Uh, I mentioned that in the beginning, um, bus bar systems, um, adapters for uh, circuit breakers, for contactors, for motor starters. This is already a, a starting point as well as software to configure and, and plan your system. I want to explain a little bit why Rital decided to create such a new business unit. And um, the reason is obviously that the world has to change and we are already changing as we speak. Um, we have to stop burning fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are nothing else but the solar energy of the past, today in the form of coal, oil or gas. And by burning fossil fuels, we all know we are adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. So the, the burning of fossil fuel, and this is a common sense, has to stop. Um, nuclear power is an alternative, but it's adding nuclear waste to the planet, which is also um, another sort of big risk. So the best way for the future seems to be the usage of the solar energy of the present. And this is uh, using wind energy, um, photovoltaics, hydropower, um, and this is happening. Okay, there's a uh, worldwide there are a lot of wind turbines built and uh, a lot of wind turbines under construction. Same for solar power. Um, so this is happening, and there's a big need for enclosures for cooling alongside with that change. Um, obviously, uh, the more electricity you're generating, the more city needs to be distributed. Also here there's a need to support um, those companies specialized on the distribution of electrical energy. Uh, and also on the residential side or on the mobility side, um, there's a lot of changes happening. We also have a lot of hardware products for the energy sector, like most of the big wind turbine manufacturers uh, are our customers, um, and they need support to protect their electronics from cold, from heat, from dust, obviously from salt, uh, not only in, in offshore, but also on so onshore uh, wind turbines close to the shoreline, um, and protect the equipment from uh, mechanical influences, uh, most of it uh, vibrations. Um, there's a big need for customized cooling solutions, and uh, this is actually why our customers uh, use us as a partner um, to create special solutions for their demands. And this is how they look like. This is a typical um, products for the uh, wind turbines, pitch boxes, control cabinets with all kinds of special needs, inverter cabinets with their specific needs. And um, well, this is just one example, wind, another example, um, with a strong growth is batteries. Um, as you know, there are a lot of battery plants under construction worldwide because there's a huge need for uh, additional batteries, not only for the immobility, but also for other applications. And um, yeah, our customers just have a big need for enclosures for batteries and cooling for batteries. This is just examples. It can be 19-inch um, rack-based or 19-inch uh, batteries, number one. Number two, it can be other form factors, like here in the middle. You can see the solution for a company called Comeo. They are providing those blocks that you can just push in the racks. They do contact on the rear side, um, so very easy to plan, very easy to configure. It comes with its own battery management system. Um, yeah, so you have a plug and play um, battery system. But sometimes even a rack is not enough. You need more power. And then you have several racks in, for instance, a, a building or a container. You can also get such a, a full container based solution from Rital, including its own cooling. And talking about batteries um, leads me also to the e-mobility sector. Um, 
not always, but sometimes a charge pack uh, has a requirement for a battery system as well. But what you always need is a back-end system, a front-end system, front-end uh, charging enclosures, cooling, um, planning tools. And uh, also here we are providing support and equipment for our customers. One example is a customer called Tritium. They were um, supplying a solution to Ionity, and Ionity was building 400 um, fast charging parts parks in Europe. And uh, they needed a partner uh, providing the enclosures and uh, also the um, components. And uh, there was a strong demand actually for, especially for outdoor uh, solutions. And here we could provide uh, a double wall system, our top tech enclosures, um, aluminum shell, and uh, also very good um, uh, cooling and uh, protection from, from heat. Um, the customer needed a high flexibility for the interior, which we could provide with our interior system, and uh, a high availability internationally of, of those components needed. Another example is uh, charge here, ENBV, ENBW. The challenge here is a uh, charging solution for um, multi-story car parks and uh, multi-family houses. The challenge was to provide approximately 16 to 20 charging points and to distribute the energy in a flexible way from one charging point to the other. Here there was a need for optimum protection against third-party excess, uh, vandalism in particular, and also corrosion. And uh, they needed a particularly compact solution, which they found with us, and uh, a solution that is applicable in an international way. My third and last example is uh, in the area of uh, e-buses, charging of electrical buses. And here I'm very pleased that uh, I could win Thomas Milewski for a short interview. Thomas is the CEO of Schaltbau Refurbishment, a company that is specialized, among other things, on uh, charging infrastructure for buses. Thank you. I've been in railways for 30 years and known Rital all that time, maybe even longer. Rital is always excellent at providing assistance and also in the further development of enclosures. We, as the Schaltbaugruppe Group, are listed on the stock exchange with an annual turnover of approximately 500 to 550 million euros, 3,000 employees in Europe and worldwide, approximately 40 activities and four parent companies. One of them is us, SBS GmbH, here in Dienstlaken, with two business divisions. One is focused on the modernization of trains and train equipment and we started the second four years ago. Derived from power supplies for trains, we work with high performance chargers in the DC voltage range up to a contacting power of one megawatt per point. That requires professional housing systems and that's where Rital first came to mind and it's been running very well ever since. We specialize in complete charging infrastructure solutions for large vehicles like buses and ships and trucks. How do you think the market for e-buses will develop? You work closely with this every day. Please tell us about your experience. This market is strongly in motion. I believe that all those who are dealing with this now have the statements in their head that there are no German manufacturers or that they are not yet ready, that the Chinese are ahead. That's not quite right anymore. There are over 50 supplies of electric buses in Europe, not hybrids, all electric buses big and small remodelers. The market is there. 
In Germany, for example, we have about 30,000 urban buses and 80,000 buses in total. With a lifetime of about 10 years, we have a mathematical annual throughput of around 3,000 urban buses. And we are growing every year. We started with double-digit numbers of electric buses, now we are in treble digits. This year we are going to crack 1,000 and that puts us in a ballpark where everyone is playing. The press reported that our colleagues from the market leader Evo Bus, so that's Daimler, have caught up rapidly over the last two years. They have introduced the 12-meter buses and we are doing the first joint project with them in Duisburg. I think that's where Evobus is using its 18-meter electric bus for the first time. This is a milestone. And the second big German, MAN, is also rolling out a similar project. MAN's 12-meter bus is out on roadshow and has already won its first customers, again together with us. We are pleased about that. And the Clean Vehicle Directive and the pull from the market offer good growth potential in the coming years. What do you experience in these projects? Where does it get interesting? Where does it crunch? And what can Schaltbau refurbishment do in concrete terms to solve customers' daily problems? Our approach is a charging infrastructure solution. We don't just put up a wall box and leave the customer alone. Most of our customers want a complete solution. In Brussels, the question was, how do we get charging points in the middle of the city with up to 500 kilowatts per point charged via a pantograph without putting up concrete buildings in the city? Although there are now some that look good and that, thanks to professional graffiti artists, are very well fitted into their environment. Just have a look at our homepage or in Münster. Unfortunately, in Brussels, we had to go to an underground bunker area of the metro. So everything had to be taken apart and packed and reassembled in such a way that we could use the existing access points. When it comes to enclosures, our first port of call is our colleagues at Rital. Is that possible for you? What options are there in your modular system to avoid having to do something completely new again? That simply shows Rital's advantage. You talk to each other, you can adapt things, but you can also help yourself from the construction kit. We completed the entire project in nine months, both in the city and at the depot. A second good example is Freiburg. We developed a product with Rital base cabinets to implement applications for a DC power supply in Freiburg. And thanks to joint project planning and the exchange among the technicians, we have a very good solution. This is the second stage of evolution. Cube is the name of the product in Freiburg and it was put to good use. Those are the challenges. So, not just setting something up, but asking, what does the customer need exactly? Liquid cooled systems, which are then also connected to the cooling in the control cabinets, or air cooled systems that require different cooling? This cooperation is our strength, and we're going to expand on that as well. Exactly. And from our side, all I can say is, we also enjoy developing these things together with you. I think there are still many interesting joint projects yet to come. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening. If you have any comments or questions to my presentation, please do not hesitate to contact me. You will see my email address below the picture of myself. And I'm very happy to be at your disposal if you have any comments or questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.